I'm gonna tell a little testimony before we do catch the wind. Um, super tender up here. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get through this because my voice is drifting away. Um, some of you may have heard this. I'm just gonna tell it again to give glory to God. He's so worthy, yeah. But I, I, I have a chronic illness I've had since I was 17. And um, a couple years ago, I, I woke up one morning and um, the hopelessness was pretty overwhelming and the pain was pretty intense. And I laid in bed and I asked the Lord to take it. I said, God, I really need you to lift this. And the Lord spoke to me and said, Melissa, I want you to sing your way out. And I said, God, I don't really wanna do that. I just want you to take it. And he didn't say anything back. And so I got up and I, I kept getting ready. And the second time I said, God, I really need you to lift this hopelessness. I need you to shift the pain. And the father said to me the second time, he said, Melissa, I want you to sing your way out. And I'm like, God, I don't wanna sing my way out. Like, I just want you to do it. Kept getting ready. Third time, I'm, I'm literally blow drying my hair. And I prayed the third time, God, I'm serious now. Ever been there when you're like, just in case you were wondering, I wasn't kidding when I prayed that prayer. I said, God, I'm really, I'm really serious. I really need you to shift this. And he said a third time, Melissa, I, I want you to sing your way out. Because I'm teaching you something about the power of your voice. And I'm teaching you something about what happens when you come to agreement with who I am inside of you. And you sing the song that I'm singing inside of you. And I, I was little, I'll never forget it. I was leaned over, blow drying my hair because I don't have very thick hair, you have to lean over to get more volume and I was, am I right? Thank you. And I was leaned over and I, <clears throat> sorry, all my voice is leaving. But I, I was leaned over and I was like, sing your way out, sing your way out, sing your way out. And all of a sudden this just came out of me and I, I sang at the top of my lungs. I said, I am strong and full of life. I am steadfast, no compromise. I lift my sails to the sky. I'm gonna catch the wind. It didn't sound like that, just in case you were wondering. And immediately the hopelessness lifted off my life, off that moment, and, my, and the pain lifted. and. And I felt the father rush in. When I woke up this morning and didn't have a voice, I was so angry at the enemy. And I, I just really feel like I have a, a word. Because chronic illness is very lonely. If you know someone that has a chronic illness, it's, it's a very lonely place. And when I woke up this morning and there was nothing there, I was trying to sing and nothing was coming out and I was like, gosh. And you know, then I started pacing and praying in the spirit and casting out every demon of hell that's trying to shut me up, right? That's what we do and it's so good. <laughs> Except when the Lord is allowing things. Then it's like a waste of energy. And and I, I got here and I'm like, I, I can't, I told Johnny, I can't, I can't sing, I don't have a voice. And I just felt the, and my, you know, my body's in so much pain, I just felt the disappointment just starting to rise. And I, I sat out in worship and I was just like, you know when you're in between light and darkness and the darkness is screaming and it's just like, come over here. And the light's over here going, no, come over here. And when you're really tired, you don't, you don't know how, you don't know where to go. Anybody been there? 
And I was sitting there in worship and I, I could literally feel myself on the edge of, because this, this is a long process for me. This is 20 plus years of, of believing in faith and prayer and the Father and I'm more in love with Jesus than I've ever been. And, I, and we talk about healing every day and he knows he can do it whenever he wants. I look in the mirror every day and say, today's your day. Jesus, you can do whatever you want, right? And, but I, this morning, I literally felt myself on the edge of just jumping off a cliff into disappointment. And right when I was just about there, I felt Stephanie's hand on my back. Because the Father's coming and he's, it's family, guys. And you can't win the battle alone. And we need each other. It's everything Jonathan was talking about this morning. It's, it's in family that we actually, we grow and we get breakthrough. And I literally felt like, I was like, I saw this Stephanie just reach in and, and grab my shirt and pull me off the cliff. Because how many of you know once you dive into disappointment, it's a very deep place. I haven't felt that in probably 10 years. And I know it's for this moment that the spirit of disappointment wants to rob you of your dreams and it wants to rob you of this moment. It wants to rob you of, of every moment to come. It wants to rob you of the every day. And, and I was sitting there and, I, and I, they just started praying for me and it was just, whew, okay, okay, I'm not alone, I'm not alone. And the Lord said, you need more than you think you need. And then he said to me, ask your friend to sing your song for you. And you don't, that's hard for me because I'm a fighter and I'll get up here and screech it out. I don't care. I don't care. It's gonna, it could sound, I don't care. I got nothing to prove in LA. LA, I got nothing to prove to you. But that's not what the Father's doing. He's lifting loneliness off your lives. He's lifting the spirit of disappointment and loneliness off your life. He's lifting it off so that when you leave here and you go home and that thing is waiting for you and you open your door and it's there going, yeah, that conference really didn't do anything. And actually you're still as lonely as you were before. You're gonna look at it and be like, actually you are a liar. You have to know the voice of the Father and he doesn't say those kinds of things. And you need to know when the voice of the enemy speaking, you point at his face and say, you are a liar. And then you ask for help. I believe the Father is sending help to the lonely. And he's making you strong. And I believe as Steph sings this, The spirit of loneliness is gonna lift off and disappointment and healing power is gonna come, right? Healing power is gonna come because it's what he's doing. And I believe the Father, even today, he's gonna heal chronic illness. I will pray for it a thousand times and one of those times it's gonna happen for me. I know that. But we press in, right? So God, we're here. We're here, Father. We don't feel strong, but we want to. And we come into agreement fully with your heart and your song and your voice. Father, I ask right now that the spirit of loneliness would be lifted off, that disappointment would be lifted off, that you would bring the lonely into family, Jesus. Father, we ask that you would tune our ears in, that we would know your voice and that we would follow your voice. Give us discernment to know when the enemy is speaking and give us discernment to know when you're wooing us into a moment, even if it's hard. Fill us with courage, God. Fill us with courage, God. strong and full of life. I am steadfast, no compromise. I lift myself to the sky. I'm gonna catch the wind. I'm gonna catch the wind. I am bold, no fear inside. Spread my wings, open my 
want you to begin to lift your wings. I want you to prophesy with your bodies. With a melody, you surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears. 